Hello, I've got to install a booster fuel pump and auxiliary filter on a 4.3 liter MPI Mercruiser engine. Behaves beautifully ordinarily, but in hot Florida waters, in hot days, suffers from vapor lock. No problem up north in colder water or colder weather. But um, this auxiliary booster pump should do the trick. In my boat, the fuel line comes in on the starboard side into the fuel filter. Uh, but the kit requires connecting the wires up to the uh, original fuel pump, which is over low down on the starboard side and somewhat hard to get at. Basic kit includes the uh, fuel pump itself an insulated uh, hose to come into the fuel filter, a uh, piece of wire harness, I actually have already installed the extender harness that goes over to the original pump. There's the filter, it's important because uh, this pump is going to be installed in front of the main filter. And I had to buy a couple of feet of extra uh, fuel line hose uh, so that I could do a neat and tidy job. The auxiliary uh, wiring harness that comes over to the original fuel pump is on the port side of the engine way down low with the original fuel pump fuel cooler system a little hard to get in there but uh, those blue parts are are that connector and I've run the wire underneath the engine over to the others to the starboard side where I'll connect it to this new pump Follow the instructions carefully, of course. My first step is going to be to install the brass fittings, 3-8 size in my case, to the fuel filter and torque them in as specified by the uh, instructions. It, as, it, as it happens, the kit from Mercury includes uh, a Loctite on the threads already. I've installed the barbed connectors on each end of the filter and uh, put them in at uh, about 20 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Also attached uh, a run of fuel line. Um, this is the uh, Type A1 Coast Guard approved um, I think it's a J1527 so that it's uh, meant for marine use. I've got to disconnect the existing fuel line from the existing fuel filter and then I'll connect it to the new filter. There's the new little filter attached to the existing fuel line. Uh, I just got to get a bracket to hold it to, to attach it to the boat to meet Coast Guard specs. Now I'm ready to replace the fitting on the fuel filter with the new elbow joint that uh, was provided by Mercury. That's got to be tightened in properly. Now, now the uh, feed line from the new pump is attached up to the original fuel filter. Okay. I've mounted the bracket for the booster pump to the um, sidewall that goes beside the engine. Um, so that it'll be uh, up out of the way and easy to service. And there it is, all installed, ready to go.